Hey guys, just very quickly before we start here, I just wanted to say thank you so much. Uh, Happy Wax TV has just kind of gone over that hump of 5,000 subscribers. I do have a video coming for that, um, and I do have some, I know I always say this every time I hit 1,000, but, but I do have big things coming for the channel. It's just my life is very busy, and I love playing golf, so I have to try and squeeze this, this channel in there somewhere between work and and golf and then my my son and my daughter it's just you know it's 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 a stretch sometimes but i i listen i appreciate every single one of you um thank you so much for for becoming a part of this channel and this family um i'll, I'll never ask you to subscribe and i will never monetize this channel to, to make money off it um so rest assured you'll never see any commercials on my reviews unless you know, it gets copyrighted or whatever, and somebody else is putting, you know, YouTube or whoever is putting commercials up. But I will never do that, and I will never ask you to subscribe to my channel. So the fact that 5,000 people have come on board is fantastic. So anyways, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, I do have a video for that coming because I did ask a bunch, well, all of you, to, to ask me questions if you wanted to know anything about me personally or about the channel or about my history or anything like that. So I've got a ton of them. I've gone through them and I am working on a video and it's coming out very shortly. So anyways, let's end it there and uh, we'll get on to this movie Jacob's Wife because it is fucking awesome. Happy Wax TV. Okay, so tonight we're talking about Jacob's wife. I am going to do my best not to do spoilers for this movie. Just know that I thought it was fucking fantastic, and I highly recommend this movie. Right off the hop, if you don't want to listen to me ramble on about it for a bit, I'm probably going to give this movie a really strong seven, maybe even a seven and a half. I, I thought this movie, it's low budget, okay, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I love Barbara Crampton, okay, she was like my go-to back in the 80s, and she's still killing it today, I mean, she's had a few movies that she started in the last little while that I didn't really care for, but man, oh man, she just fucking kills it, literally, kills it in this fucking movie as a vampire, the other thing too, that kind of made me kind of go, eh, about this movie before I watched it was Travis Stevens, not him as a person, but he was the director of Girl on the Third Floor, and I did not like that movie at all. I thought it was a mess. So <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, okay, let's, you know, let's let's go here. Let's go. I'm, I'm going to go in. I'm not going to judge this movie before I sit down and watch it. And man, oh man, for the most part, it hit all the marks for me. I thought this movie was absolutely fucking great. Uh, let me read the synopsis quick. Um, Anne, married to a small town minister, feels her life has been shrinking over the past 30 years. Encountering the master brings her a new sense of power and an appetite to live bolder. However, the, chains co the change comes with a heavy body count. Well, basically, um, Anne and her husband, uh, Jacob, who is played by Larry Fassenden, God, I have a hard time saying his last name. Um, they are obviously husband and wife for 30 plus years. But Jacob is one of these, these people who, I don't think, like, I got the impression he doesn't know he's doing it, but he's one of these, like, he's possessive. Um, you know, he, he kind of puts Anne on the back burner. Um, he loves her. There's, there's no doubt about that. But he, you know, he speaks over her. Um, you know, there's, there's conversations at the church where, she, where, where she'll be talking to some of the people who visit and then he'll cut her off, you know, because he has to be the dominant figure in this. And it, I, not only does it happen all the time, but I see it all the time. I really do. Like when I'm out and about, it, it's crazy. And, you know, that's his character. You know what I mean? He loves his wife, but he's very overbearing and, he, you know, he's got to be the man. You know, she makes the breakfast in the morning and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you can just see through the first act that Anne is not happy. She really isn't. She's, she, she loves Jacob, but she's not happy with this life that she's kind of fell into. And, <laughs> and then she gets bit by a vampire. And once she gets bit by the, the master or this, this vampire, who, by the way, is played by Bonnie Aarons, is fantastic. She's not in this movie a lot. 
okay? And if there's one, one little problem I had with her character, because she looks fantastic. She, they, they've, they've dressed her up to look like the Nosferatu, a Max Shrek uh, vampire, and it, it's killer. Again, this is low budget, so she looks like a low budget Nosferatu, but she still looks fucking killer. The only thing I didn't like about her character was the way they, they, they did her voice, okay? They, they kept it as a female voice, which is fine. And you can, obviously, she's a female vampire, you know this. But it just, her voice just didn't have that oomph, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just wanted her to be a little more powerful sounding, and, and they didn't do that. And I, I thought they messed up on that part, but her look was fantastic. It was, it was fucking amazing. But once she gets bit, like, when, once Anne gets bit by the master, she totally changes into this person, almost like... She used to be, you know, that's explained to us when she's younger. She's, she's got, a, you know, a, a, a zest for life. Uh, you know, she wants to go out and do stuff. She's, she's very well-spoken, empowering, and, and it's fucking great. And it catches Jacob off guard, do you know what I mean? But then we start to see the transformation where she's turning into a vampire and she gets the bloodlust and the hunger. And, you know, she goes in to get her teeth whitened. And, and the ultraviolet rays burn her mouth and stuff. And it's great how he, he does it too, because he subtly, uh, subtly, sorry, changes this, not into a full comedy, but the first half of this movie, it's like fairly serious tone, okay? And then the, the halfway through to the, to the end of the third act, once, once uh, Jacob kind of gets on board with her becoming a vampire and he has to try and help her, even though she doesn't really want to change back because she likes how she feels, it, it's it's comedic. It's it's comedic, and the jokes for the most part hit when they need to. There's a scene with a little girl in the trailer where they're where they're pulling this this body out of the house of this elderly woman that that died, and they want to use her body to train it so Anne can have some blood, right? Because she's she's got this bloodlust, and the the conversation between the little girl. And the two of them is fantastic. Like they, they play off of each other. Great, like it's fan. This they gel, and they're both. They should because they're horror icons, and they've been in a shit ton of movies. So, and it shows the acting chops in this movie is fantastic. The direction really is there. It's awesome. It really is, and it pulls this movie through. Again, it's not the perfect movie. There are some things that I didn't like about it. But I mean, it's 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 over the top when it needs to be over the top because there's like throat cutting scenes and some impalements and stuff like that. And I mean, it's just gallons and gallons and gallons of blood gushing out of these people. It, it, it's crazy. So I mean, it's gory when it needs to be gory. It, it's it's funny when it needs to be funny. And, and for the most part, the jokes hit. The acting is on point. Barbara Crampton fucking kills it in this movie. Because her transformation into this vampire is fucking fantastic, the way she acts and stuff. And it's just, it's a fun movie to watch. It really is. Um, I don't really think there's any scenes that are really going to scare you. But, you know, it does have a little bit of creep to it when it needs to. But it's just how these two characters play off of each other. And the fact that they've kind of got to figure out what they want to do here. Because now that Anne has become a vampire, Jacob feels that, you know, because he's a, a, a pastor that, you know, he's, he's given himself to God, that he's, you know, this is him, his coming up and, and being this vampire slayer. So it's just, it's a crazy movie. And I, I really did enjoy it. Um, again, I'm going to give this one a really strong seven, maybe even a seven and a half. I highly recommend this movie. And it's on Shudder. It's on Shudder. It's a Shudder original. Now, I don't know if it's available in Canada. Uh, not yet, but I know you can get it in the States. And uh, yeah, so we're going to throw this into the Shudder category of their original movies. And uh, keep them coming, guys, because the last two flicks that I've reviewed for them have been fantastic. So Myron's fucking sponsorship levels just get a little bit higher. You never know. So, But anyways, it's called Jacob's Wife. I highly recommend this movie, guys. Don't miss this movie. It is absolutely fantastic. If you've seen it already... Please let me know what you thought about this one. And if you haven't, again, go go find this movie, whether you get the Shutter platform or you, or you rent it or wherever you watch your movies. But do not miss this movie, Jacob's Wife. It's out now. Until next time, guys, take care.